everybody to know that vlogging is not always all primp and prairie. We're working right now, hustling. Stay excited, please. Trying to get that. The audience place. is watching, please. We gotta... See, we got one of those Flintstone yachts. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we got to kind of pedal yeah. as we go and it's like 100 degrees. Yes, this is, this is, this the is a crazy idea, but yeah. look at that handsomeness. Let me catch. Oh, Lord, look at that. I got to catch my breath now. All right. Uh, this was my idea, so. Oh, my Lord. We're yeah. trying to have a good backdrop in this boat, and we pedaling, and we working out, and sweating in the sun. Is it recording? Good morning. No. Nope. Is it recording? Yes. Good morning. No. Nope. Good morning. No. Nope. Good, good morning. morning. Good, good afternoon. afternoon and, and good, good evening, evening. Wherever, wherever you are. are. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, everybody. We're going back to school. Back to school. This is back to school week. So we out here on our yacht, like Puff Daddy and, and Jennifer Lopez, back in the Disney. What you've been watching is the first, first of, of the, the month. month. We forgot to yeah, mention that. Yeah, we forgot that. to mention that. How That's could we? This is the first of the month. Yep. Trying to give you the ambiance while it's still the summer. So we're being and we summer be days. So don't forget to like, subscribe, sweating. and share, and comment. We're talking about back to school, everybody. How are you feeling You're about back that? Back to school. How does the parents feel? I know y'all stressed out because you probably just spent eight hundred dollars on the school clothes. Oh my lord! And, and you got to do homework with the kids. Help the kids with the homework. That is no joke. So they got homework. That means you got homework too. Well, we want you to comment and tell us your war stories. Making sure they with do your their kids, homework. Or even when you went to school. Oh, More yeah, yeah, energy yeah. expended and there. Kids is gonna lose their homework this year. They kids definitely gonna, gonna act lose their up. They're gonna, and they're gonna be up. kids and they're, they're gonna, gonna act they're up. They're gonna study. And they're gonna show their you know what. Yep. And be mindful of the school buses because the craziest, grimiest stuff happens, happens on, on the, the school, school bus. bus which and don't sleep. Yeah, don't school sleep. School districts on the school buses. hire your teacher aides on the bus because you need them. But the school buses, all, those kids get on the bus and do God knows what and God knows when. And I hope your boy don't get on the bus acting crazy again. Man, Lee. Who are you telling? You know, if you can sure. drive your kids to school, drive please them. do so. Drive them to school. Sorry, we had to blow it up a little bit, but we've heard some real war, bad war, war stories. stories. Well, let's keep it comedy for now, at least. But if you got any crazy war stories, we really want you to drop them below. Let us know. Let us know. Not on Instagram, but let us know on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. 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 <laughs> But you know, oh God, don't touch all that. <laughs> That's disgusting. You have now. <laughs> you should have worn protection. Subscribe. You should have worn protection. <laughs> I got a war story. When I was young, I was probably in high school. I was running down the hall, and mm -hmm. one of these headbangers, a cool friend of mine, he pulled down my shorts. Oh my God. And everybody and their mother. Did they see your boxer and back in the days shorts in school, or did they see something else? No, they saw boxer shorts. <laughs> and back in the days in school, and when that kind of shit happened, everybody would say, dick, and mad <laughs> loud too. They would say it mad loud, and the what? whole damn hallway would hear you being called a dick in stereo, in the speakers, everywhere. That's terrible. So that's one of mine. Thing. All right, what's yours? How did you deal with that? Oh, I, I got him back. He was running down the hall real fast one day. I stuck out my foot and he went flying like, Oh my God. Superman! Woo! That was my payback because we were all just devilish kids. Anyways, what is your war story? My when I was in junior high school, there were these pack of popular girls and I was not in that group. And uh, one of the girls decided that she was going to call me a lesbian. And... Uh, I pretty much ignored her for a while and oh, we were in class, Sorry. we were in class and she was with all her gang of friends sitting behind me and then she said, told me, I was looking behind myself because I don't want them putting shit in my hair and stuff so I was like looking and she was like, don't look at me and somehow <laughs> that turned into a fist fight and so we fought, fought it out in that classroom and then um, my good friend Janine was like, telling me that they were gonna try to jump, jump me oh actually no they were telling me they were gonna jump me and um, after that incident and my good friend got in between because she was actually acquaintances with those girls and she told them no they was not gonna jump me so yeah. 
Thank you, Janine. I remember high school pimples and hairspray and everything like that, but it was the confidence that I had at the time that made, that made me stand out more than a lot of other people. And if I looked at some of my old school pictures, I would have been like, wow, I, I was that confident. But it, confidence is everything, people. It's all your perception, so definitely, definitely know that. You know? I was very shy and quiet. I was probably known as a quiet girl until I got to 12th grade and I kind of decided that I was going to let myself come out of my shell a little bit. But even then I had a long way to go as far as self-confidence and loving myself and feeling my inner beauty. A very, very late bloomer. This is the epitome of late bloomingness. And you know, back in the days when you went to high school and you were a ninth grader, you had to get some kind of initiation from like the seniors and they would beat your ass or do something crazy like they'll put eggs in your book bag or something like that. I never got it but I remember in ninth grade how worried I was but when there was fights a lot of kids get beat up in ninth grade or just first day of school people would say fight 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 and stand and around you while you were getting around. stomped on. But now, not That's only do terrible. they do that, but they also record it and put it on Instagram. And replay that. Yeah, last week. Because you know what? We, for the we all make our mistakes in nope. growing up. And we don't need that stuff repeated, 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 replayed. We don't and rap the bullies. We We're looking for our peoples, our YouTube, our YouTube fam, to, to tell us some of their experiences when they were younger. We have a great school, whatever else. But um, I oh, know. Oh, I got one. Go when I was in junior high school, I was in Spanish class. And I thought it would be fun to sketch pictures of phallic things. Yeah. And uh, the teacher was, I guess she noticed I wasn't paying attention. So she snatched up that paper, folded it up, and mailed it to my mother. Whoosh. That there wasn't fun. Hi, Mom. How was your day at school? <laughs> what well, were you doing in school today? What are these pictures today? up? Well. <laughs> so when, yeah, and when I was in uh, Catholic school, in my grade school years, I was expelled. For many other reasons, but for the last straw was me writing sexual things in a Mad Lib pattern. Okay. I don't know why that was enough. Who to... remembers Mad Lib? My mom's Lib. paying for me to go to that school oh. too. Well, who remembers Mad Libs too? Drop a comment below. Let us know. Yeah, That's I fun. could just remember growing up in school in the elementary school years and just remembering how how long it took to become human. You know what I'm saying? To and feel. To feel whatever. And I was a problem child, so like crazy stuff at home. So what I would do is I act up in class to get attention. And I just was always a comedian or always like making making noise or doing whatever I could. But I had a hard time growing up, especially with the name Apache. <laughs> <laughs> he grew into that name. Well, kids are definitely cruel. But so, yeah, yeah. Drop your comments. Tell them about your, your strengths and hopes and, and, and just anything. Whether it's comedy or even whether it's something that you just want to get Struggling off your chest. With. Or a bully. You might want to just shout out and say, look at up. me now, mother. <laughs> so... This is what I wanted to tell you guys for the young kids. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. Mm -hmm. The minute you start to believe that you are beautiful and believe that you are capable, guess what? Everybody else is going to fall in line. Yeah. Honey, they will fall in line. So, okay. And youngins, be, be you. Be yourself. Don't, you don't be like the other ones. You don't have to make up stories and about if, yourself, if, telling if, yourself you're not good enough because it's not true. And no matter what you are, who you are, what you dig, gay or whatever your thing Everybody is. Everybody has a talent. Don't be afraid, just be you. So the thought of the day is it's all about what you think in your head that will reflect how other people view you and perceive you. It's all about what you think about yourself. Yup. Color, Color your, your life, life how you dream, dream it to be. be.